this is essentially a given code. Is that being shown? Can that be seen on? Okay. Good, okay. Okay. But in cultural artifice reality, this is Moorish under the auspices of, quote, Egyptian. Islam does not have a crescent and star emblem in its book or on its book. Islam rejects symbology as idolatry. That's why we know the crescent and the star is not a Muslim symbol. It was used and is still being used as a governmental symbol of the countries that are essentially Arabic. This is a Moorish symbol, crescent and star. As we look back into the knowledge of self and the knowledge of the universe and the knowledge of God, we come to understand symbology as a part of the cultural legacy of the dark-skinned, broad-nosed, thick-lipped, and furled-haired human being that was cut off by the ordeal of slavery. Notice I did not say the history of, but the ordeal of. Nature makes the crescent and the star. There is no five-pointed star in the heavens. There's a four, eight, 16, and even a seven point. There is no crescent moon in the heavens. That is the appearance of a portion of the moon as the moon passes between the sun and earth. It is the drawing of nature that presents us with the perfect silhouette of a crescent. The crescent represents cancer, the mother. The five-pointed star represents man first, who is the sun, thereby structuring my sun, which is what? Right, okay. Mother and son crescent and star. Nature, though it is mentioned in Quran, in chapter 70, Jesus and Miriam are given as a sign. Okay. We know that Jesus does not come with his father, who is in heaven. He only comes with and through his mother, mother and son. The Codex Inscriptus, the knowledge and the keys of Moorish science, the language of symbolism, the secret language, is the base of the Bible, the base of all major scriptures. By major, I mean those that are, have made an impact on the largest population of human beings on the planet. There are other scriptures that are not being used by any religion at all, but are still considered holy writ. The crescent and star is I of the letter and of the third I. The pyramid, the perfect building in its geometrical structure and form with the raised, pure, the raised third eye <coughs> that you can find on the back of the dollar bill is self. The right angle, the compass, excuse me, the square, and the compass are the tools of the measuring, the measure of the fullness of the statue of Christ not Jesus. Divine nature is what gres, gares means. The kinetic word, Christos, and is Christ, is the translation of gres in the quote so-called Egyptian, is law. 
the law of or the inverted triangle the law of correspondence as above so below as within so without the law of correspondence, the basis of that which exists in one place reflects itself in another. That which is in heaven is reflected on earth. That which is in your brain is reflected in your body. The law of correspondence is the am or amness, I amness of divine nature. The M is the circle and the cross, the tools of the measuring of all things, which symbolically represents mastership. Thirty-three and a Thirty-three and a, and a third. The third is the other aspect of the Masonic order. How much is three and three and three? How much is four times nine? Thank you. The full circle of 360 degrees is master. I, self, law, and master is the meaning of the codex in scriptus Islam. So when you hear a Moor whose knowledge will say Islam, he's not saying peace. He shouldn't be talking about some organization. He should be greeting you as recognizing your divinity. That's its pur purpose as a salute to your godhood and your brother or and sisterhood. <laughs> 